Here we have a diagram that's got a couple of angles in it and uh, the letters to label the angles and also some numbers in here. And then we've got some questions over here about how to name these angles or the parts of these angles. So let's just look at this diagram for a moment. Uh, you can see we've got the letters here. M is the letter of the vertex uh, of these angles, the, the, the uh, end point right here at the, at the point of the angle where it starts. And then you've got these rays coming out um, with uh, points on the rays to define those rays. So you can name these angles by their letters. Uh, it takes three letters to name an angle. You have the two um, uh, points on the arms of the angle and you have the vertex and the vertex always goes in the middle. So you could call this angle PMQ or you could call it QMP, it would be the same thing. This angle here could be QMN or NMQ. So when we look at A and it says name the vertex of PMQ, well, we just look for the letter in the middle. That is our vertex. So that is point M. Now, you'll also see there are some numbers here, number one, number two. When you see a number inside an angle that doesn't have a degree symbol, this is just a label, another way of naming the angle. So we can refer to this angle as angle number one, this angle is angle number two. B says name the sides of angle number two. Well, angle number two is this PMQ or QMP, and the sides here are the line that runs from M to P, and actually this is a ray starting at M and going out through P. So we would write that like this, M, P, with our ray symbol. And the other side starts at M and goes out through Q. So that would be M, Q, and again with our ray symbol. All right, now C says write two other names for angle number one. Well, that's this one, and it could be either QMN or NMQ, as long as M comes in the middle because that's the um, the vertex. So we could write this as Q, well, I suppose I should put the angle symbol first. So angle Q, M, N, or angle N, M, Q. So that's a little bit of work with naming angles and sides and vertices.